You got to learn how to protect yourself in and, out, in and outside the ring, and you think your promoter will have the best interest for you. Um, this guy does not have the best interest for me. Pro boxing fans, we're here in Riyadh. Press conference is done. Jarrell Miller, uh, yeah. firstly, you announced that you've actually become a Muslim in this country. Just talk to me about. Talk to me about that. Um. You know, it's something I want to do for a long time, and I feel like I wasn't worthy of it, you know, but I've learned that, you know, no one's perfect, and uh, Islam is, is, but when you convert, it's part of growing and maturing as a man as well, too, and it's taking steps. So I felt like, you know, my, my, one of my original coaches, uh, Jihad Abdul Aziz, he's been with me since day one, and, um, and I'm happy to bring him here with me and kind of, you know, do it with him and do Shahada, and it was uh, it's a blessing, you know. Nice. Uh, I do want to talk about that press conference. It, it was interesting. There's going to be two points I want to talk about before you go to your training session. Gotcha. First of all, I'm not. So you don't see this. We see this very rarely. I don't think I've seen it before. Where a fighter goes after his promoter, and you said something about late payments that mm. your promoter Dramitis made. Talk to me about that. Elaborate on that for me. I mean, it's not just late payments. There's things in the past where you know I've always um, last couple of years, even before my situation, I have a co-promotional deal where he's not the lead promoter. You know, I'm the lead promoter. I own majority stake of my own promotional company. And there were certain documentation and things that were left out on my rights being sold overseas, which caused us to go through our first litigation a couple years ago. Um, it's just that, you know, as a fighter, you know, you got to learn how to protect yourself in and, out, in and outside the ring. And you think your promoter will have the best interest for you. Um, this guy does not have the best interest for me. He's all about himself. He's all about the money that he gets out for fighters. Um, I mean, the last three years when I wasn't boxing, I didn't receive not one phone call. You know, when I was on VADA for almost two years, I paid that out of pocket or had other investors pay that for me. You know, this guy's not care about my well-being. So when somebody goes in the front of a microphone and talk about all this nice, great things that he does, he's full of shit. And that's what I don't like about it. You know, Old Town Wallen had a dispute with him and is no longer with him, and he's he's happy about that. You had Jermaine Franklin was having a big dispute with him before his big fight of his career. It's like, you know, I'm two weeks before this fight, he's sending me legal notices about $5 million. I owe him $5 million because of the AJ fight getting canceled. It's like he does ignorant stuff. You know, especially around fight time when a fighter, when I'm supposed to be training or fighters are training for the fight, he does these things to kind of throw you off your game. So if you care about a fighter's well-being, why would you do these kind of things to a fighter to throw him, throw him off his game? You know what I'm trying to say? And, and I, I, I personally don't like the guy anymore at all. I grew up around this guy, and I thought because he was a fighter, he would be for the fighters. But he's just not. He's all about himself, man. And that's the thing you see in sport of boxing. You see greedy promoters and then managers that don't really care nothing about the fighters, only about themselves in their pocket. And I'm sick and tired of it. I'm tired. I don't have no time in my career to play any more games so when i see him up there talking and being all smiling and happy don't don't say my name in your mouth don't put my name in your mouth because i got nothing i got no love to show to you we will keep it business i have two more fights in my contract with this guy and i want to be i want to get rid of him and that's it are you expecting a legal act after today obviously you went public but are you expecting these all uh, illegal legal I mean, what is, can you say i'm saying facts you know i'm trying to say i don't know what Business he has with other people. I mean, Old Tom Wiley was a pub, public information. That, that has nothing to do with me. Jermaine Franklin was public information. I'm speaking on my behalf. I'm speaking as a human being. You know what I mean? I do not want to be bothered with this man anymore. He is not a good person to me. You know what I'm trying to say? So he could do whatever he wanted today. If I go in front of a judge, they're going to be like, this, I'm speaking on my behalf. I call you a piece of shit. What you going to say? You're a piece of shit. Free, free world. You know what I'm trying to say? I just don't want to be, I don't want to be involved with God at all. I'm thinking about my family and my well-being and my health. Nobody calls on me and checks on me at Christmas. Nobody's putting ice on my ice bags on my eye after a fight. He's he's not the guy. So I want to be gone. I want to have my career in my hands 100. percent Before you do go to your training session, I do want to talk about Daniel Dubois today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, live and up, he's he, I think he's coming out of his shell a little bit with yeah, yeah. with you as his opponent. Yeah. What do you make of him today? I think Don Charles put the battery in his back. Told him he got to say something. You know, he probably been rehearsing that line for like about two weeks now to finally muster up and say what he had to say. But, um, I mean, it's cool. You know, I know he's nervous as shit. I can see in his eyes, he's jumpy. You know what I mean? Nothing I haven't seen before. I've fought power punches before. I've got kicked in, kicked in the head and blocked them before. So, ain't nothing he gonna say or do is gonna surprise me. And I train. Um, I have more experience than he is. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna beat his ass. Cool, Jarrell, I know the team already did take you to the gym and uh, do your last session. Thank you very much for giving me your time and uh, good luck with everything, man. Yeah, so, man. Yeah.